This tutorial is going to teach you how to convert from mole to gram. And if you're just learning these basic concepts, I have posted a, another video called Gram to Mole that you would probably want to watch first just because I covered some really basic information in that that's also going to apply to this um, tutorial. You'll see I've got the same notes up front. Um, so again, just to uh, cover a few things, we're going to be using the molar mass from the periodic table. That is the larger number in the box that has the decimal in it. That is the mass of one mole. That is specific to the element. We will not be putting any number in front of the word mole when we do that conversion. That's just to keep things simple. It's an understood one. Again, make sure we label everything. And the name of the game is to cancel out only diagonal, meaning whatever is on the top is always on the bottom in the next step, and by that I mean the unit. So um, when we went from gram to mole, you saw that we were dividing by the molar mass. This time we're going to be going the other way. We're going to be going from mole to gram, so you're going to see that we're just going to end up flipping that ratio, and we're going to be multiplying by the mass. So let's look at our first example. We're going to convert 0.085 moles of calcium to grams. Just like we did on our other conversions, we're going to start with the given. So we have 0.085 moles of calcium. The symbol for calcium is Ca. We're going to draw our long line and our short line, and we ask ourselves, how can I get from mole to gram for calcium? What is that toggle button I can use? What is that tool for my chemistry toolbox? And if you look at your periodic table, you will see that um, calcium has a mass of 40.08 grams per mole. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to put 40.08 grams of calcium on the top per mole, remember no number in front, on the bottom. Now, if you're wondering, why are you putting mole on the bottom this time? Why did you flip-flop it? Again, I want to remind you, whatever unit is on the top is always on the bottom in that next little slot. That's the easiest way to remember it. And you're always going from this to this. If the problem were longer, you'll see we'll go from this to this, from this to this, and just, just cancel, 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 cancel. We're done with this one because they actually did ask me for the grams. Grams are on top, so we're ready to calculate. Remember, we always multiply everything on the top together, write it down, multiply everything on the bottom together, write it down, and then you'll divide the top by the bottom. That is really simplifying this problem. Um, a lot of people can just put it in the calculator and be done, but again, I'm just taking it back to the most simple way to think about it. That's a lot easier for many students. So 0 0.085 times 40.08 is 3.41 grams of calcium. Because the bottom was literally just ones, you would be dividing by a one, so it's the same thing. For that reason, I'm not writing an intermediate step here. I think anyone looking at this tutorial would know that that's what you're going to be doing. So let's look at the next one. Convert 1.75 moles of oxygen to grams. So we're going to write down our given 1.75 moles. And again, M-O-L is the abbreviation you're going to use. Oxygen is just an O. So long line, short line. Now, you've got to have the molar mass of oxygen in order to do this conversion. So again, we go back to this periodic table, which at this point for any chemistry student is you've just got to have it with you all the time. Um, oxygen has a molar mass of 16.0 grams per mole. That's going to go on the top, 16.0 grams of oxygen per mole. Mole is on the bottom because it needs to cancel with what's on the top. Again, I want to remind you that the number always goes with gram when you're looking at molar mass because it's that mass of that element per one mole. So we're going to multiply everything on the top together and 1.75 um, multiplied by 16 is going to give you 28 grams of oxygen. And that's your answer. 
So where this comes in handy is if you were doing an experiment and um, your recipe, your chemical reaction, called for 1.75 moles of oxygen, you would convert those moles to grams, and this is something you can actually measure. And that's why it's important to be able to go back and forth to get from the recipe to being able to actually get your hands on a substance for a better way of putting that. Now, let's look at the next one. We're going to convert um, 0.4 moles of magnesium phosphate to grams. This time, we are not working with an individual element. We are working with a molecule, so we are going to have to figure out the mass of this to plug in. And we're just going to do that real quick on another piece of paper just to go ahead and take care of that little business. So again, this is going back to your lesson on molar mass, Mg3PO4. There are a lot of you by now who could just punch this in the calculator and keep going. We're going to break it down. So we have magnesium, we have phosphorus, and we have oxygen. This is a great little brush up if you're a little weak with this skill. We have three magnesiums. We have two times an understood one, two phosphoruses, and two times four, we have eight oxygens. Now we're gonna look up the mass of each of these on the periodic table. It would be great if magnesium phosphate were there with the mass, but it's not. Luckily, we know how to figure it out. The mass of magnesium is 24.31 grams per mole. The mass of phosphorus is 30.97 grams per mole. And the mass of oxygen is 16.0 grams per mole. Now again, on a problem like this, I consider this scratch work, so I'm just gonna plug all this into the calculator real quickly. Um, three times 24.31, that is gonna be 72.93. Two times 30.97, that is going to be 61.94. And 8 times 16 is 128. And what we want to do to get the total mass of one mole of magnesium phosphates, we're just going to add those together. So 128 plus 61.94 plus 72.93 is going to give me a mass of 262.87 grams per mole. I had to do all of that just to have that number to plug in once I start the problem. So I'm just going to make a note of it right here. This has a mass of 262.87 seven grams per mole. Now when I need it, it's ready for me to plug in. So now let's just go back and start the problem. We're gonna write down the given 0 0.40 moles of Mg3, yes, you have to write all that out, PO42, draw our long line and our short line. One mole of magnesium phosphate we just found has a mass of 262.87 grams. I'm going to label what that is right here because I need to keep up with it. And now we're ready to get our final answer. So we're just going to multiply that 262.87 by 0.4, and the answer is 105.14. Grams of Mg3PO42. So, really, all of these problems were done exactly the same way. When you're converting from mole to gram, write down your given and you're going to multiply that given by the molar mass. Either it's going to be an element from the periodic table where you're just going to look it up and you're done or you're gonna to have to figure out that molar mass by yourself. So this is just kind of the, the whole gist of this story. When you go from mole to gram, this is just another way for you to look at it. You are going to multiply by the mass. 
And in the next tutorial, we're actually going to put these two um, tutorials together, mole gram and gram mole, and we're going to see, um, and we're also going to learn atom mole and mole atom, and then we're going to put those all together into a larger problem.